Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Panzer 6 and today we're playing Skyrim Special Edition on PC. Um, I haven't had a video out in a week, so I figured I'd give you guys a surprise and play a little bit of Skyrim, which is one of my favorite games of all time. Um, I don't get much time to play games anymore, and um, now that I get a chance to go back and play Skyrim, I'm pretty happy about it. You might notice a little bit of choppiness since I'm recording with OBS. I don't know why. But for some odd reason, OBS likes... What? Wait, did I hit him? Okay, now I am playing a modded version of the game. Um, so you might notice things looking a little bit different. Um, see, whenever I played this originally on the Xbox 360, I had my character completely leveled up. Um, I actually used... Um, after I got beat the game, I found this exploit in the game where you use a book to get your uh, level and abilities completely up and that's something I did and I got to level 81 which is the max level. So I did not want to go through the grinding process so I used the cheat teleportation um, which I'll show you. Uh, it's a cheat teleportation thing. Here it is. Here we go. And it takes you to a cheat room. Um, you know, unless you pretty much level up everything. Now, this is just a mod. Uh, like I said, you can download the mods through the Skyrim Special Edition. Or, you know what? I'm just going to tell you now. If you already have Skyrim, um, especially on PC, or if you don't have Skyrim, I would recommend buying the regular version and just mod it that way. Things will run a whole lot smoother. Um... And it's a whole lot better experience, especially with the modding, because for some odd reason, on here, you have to create a Bethesda account and um, pretty much go through that. It's kind of like a Ubisoft account, and that's the only way you're getting mods. Now, it's pretty much all, a whole lot more streamlined with the regular version of Skyrim. But if you want to check it out, um, you can buy the Legendary Edition of Skyrim on Steam. Fairly cheap. You can go to sites like G2A. Uh, what the hell is that guy? There we go. Um, G2A stuff like that. You get a pretty sure you can get you in really cheap tea. I told you like nothing, bitch. Um, and you get you get legend. You get this for free. So I would go that route. Um, yeah, it looks a little bit better, but you can make you can make Skyrim look better um, just with regular Legendary Edition. Um, I guess the cool thing about this, if you want, um, you, for console players, you're going to know it's a huge difference. I know if I played this uh, on console compared to what I was used to on the 360, it's basically night and day. Now, in terms of video cards, I'm running two 7870s. Uh, I put everything on Ultra. And right at the beginning, at the launcher, <laughs> I'm used to Skyrim coming up say, oh, your settings are set to ultra automatically. No, no, not on mine. Not not anymore. Now, on Skyrim Special Edition, it says low, and it makes me sad, but I set everything to ultra, um, and I'm dipping a little bit below 30 frames. Um, I'm usually around 40 frames per second. Um, it dips a little bit below 30 every once in a while. Uh, which kind of sucks a little bit because you know I, you know I ran uh, the regular Skyrim around 60. It kept if you run it a little bit above 60, sometimes you run into some problems. I don't know what's wrong with this uh, mod I've got, but when I use a regular arrow, can I kill this guy? He looked like a kid for a second. You're dead, straight up dead. <laughs> but yeah. Um, you, you will notice with the PC version, there's a little bit of performance issues with it. Um, I don't know if it's just me, but I noticed right at the beginning when it came out, there's a lot of people that couldn't get it to run. You had to install a Windows update, which kind of stinks. Um, now, what I think I noticed, uh, and this is probably a big duh. What? 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 Okay, why can I not shoot arrows? 
Take, take a look at that. That's terrible. Is it the mod? Oh, that they're already dead, right? Ah, oh, you're you're double dead. Oh yeah. <laughs> and modded Skyrim, I can have a chocobo, so that's cool. But anyways, yeah, um, right at the beginning, when I first got the game, uh, there's a lot of people who could not start the game for some odd reason. It just would not launch. And you had to install a Windows update for it to even go through, which is kind of weird. Um, it took a few, little bit to figure it out, but I had to um, I checked my Windows updates, and it finally... It's something with armor. This... See, check this out. Alright, yeah, I can hit him with one punch, he dies. But if I shoot him with an arrow, he does not want to die. But some of them do, it's just ones with armor, I guess. Maybe maybe there's just something up with that. Maybe there's something wrong with this section. The cheat. Which I don't condone cheating in games, but I've already beat this game. I beat the shit out of this game. Um, you know, I was well within the 50, 60, 70 hours before I even uh, added, did the exploit on the 360. So, I'm not going to go through that again. I'm just going to go through and murder people. Because sometimes you just want to feel like a fucking god. Still, the third person camera, it, it's a whole lot better than, you know, it was before. If you played Oblivion and Fallout, back in the day you noticed that the third person camera view was total garbage, but on here they give it an over the shoulder view, kind of similar to what you see on Resident Evil 4 and other other third person shooters and stuff like that. So it's actually fairly, it works really well. I wouldn't recommend it. I think that, you know, the game looks better in first person, but I think a lot of games look better in first person. That's just me. I'm, I'm huge in first person shooters. Um, I've been playing Titanfall 2 and, um, ah, shoot, Battlefield 1 lately. Oh yeah, I've, I cheat, I'm cheating the whole system. I forget to tell you guys that. Um, if you want to play the game, you know, if you want to cheat in a game, I would down I would download the uh, instant cheat mod or whatever. You can actually set all of your attributes to 100. Yeah, see that? It's really stupid. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I I like I really like this. There's a lot of people, you know, a lot of console players just missed out on what Skyrim has to offer. Um, you know, like I said originally, whenever I played Skyrim. Uh, on the 360, you know, I didn't have access to things like mods and stuff like that, but um, once I got a PC back about three years ago, I started getting back into PC gaming, uh, I started playing with the mods, so, you know, if it's really cool that, you know, the console players get to experience this. Um, I know the PlayStation 4 does not get as much as the Xbox One does because of Ooh, copyright, terrible, copyright this, copyright that, and Sony's afraid of, you know, giving the players what they want. You know, what they say, great, great, greatness awaits, I think. Greatness awaits! When? When is it coming? Yeah, I, I, I don't want to sound like that guy. Um, you know, I really like my PS4. I don't have one anymore just because I had to sell it, but... I'll eventually pick one up, but the games I played on PlayStation 4 was really great. I still get more, you know, out of my Xbox One. Even when I had my PlayStation 4, I still had, you know, more fun using my Xbox One just because, you know, I like the games a whole lot better. It's just more. Um. Oh, you died, you prick. Oh, shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Centurion. That's not Centurion. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much a fucking god. Pretty much a god. I'm hoping that hoping this video actually works real well for you guys, because I at least want you to see what the game is like for those who maybe missed Skyrim first time around. Ow. See, I'm not even worried. I'm not invincible. I'm just really fucking hard to kill. I'm gonna go through there. Hello. Oh, ah, now. Come on, now. My chocobo buddy, he's gonna help me out through the rest of the game. But no, this this I mean, as somebody that's put so many hours in Skyrim, um, you know, I totally totally recommend this. Um, I totally recommend for those who have consoles who did not get to experience Skyrim, you know, 
like the PC players do, which you still don't get to experience as well as PC players. You're still going to have this. You know, you might get 1080p, 30 frames per second, but with mods, you can make things run a little bit better. Um, just change everything, pretty much. Um, that's why that's why I'm excited about it. Skyrim just one of those games you can play forever and never get tired of it. Um, that's what I like about Bethesda games. And, you know, I've I'm one of those guys put countless hours. Hello, into um, you know Fallout. You know, the only game I haven't put that many hours in, which I when I say that I put 40 hours into it, which is um, T E S O. Outro online. It, it didn't really do anything for me, but they said there was a new update for it that makes things. These guys look like the things from. Uh, what are you doing, you bastard? Okay. Uh, the the uh, descent. That's what they look like. See, it's things of armor that just won't die. They will not die from my arrows. I don't know why. Maybe it has something to do with the mod. I don't know. That, and that's another thing. Mods can do one of two things. It can make the game better, or it can completely fucking break it. Which, you know, that sucks sometimes. But that's, that's the beauty of mods. Um, can't really complain about it because, you know, how, how, how else are you going to be able to play a game where a dragon can come down and has Macho Man Randy Savage's head and screaming out, "Oh yeah!" or whatever he says. I mean, how uh, how else can you do that? I mean, it's amazing. But like I said, if you haven't played Skyrim before, be sure to pick this one up. Um, PC players, just get regular Legendary Edition of Skyrim. Do yourself a favor and do that. That way, you can get this version for free. Same with the Bioshock collection. Uh, if you had Bioshock 1, 2, and Infinite with all the DLCs, uh, you actually got the, those for free too. That's a good another another good thing about being a PC gamer is you know you get free shit. Free shit's good, and I love free stuff. But there's some companies that don't do that. Um, but 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 I digress. So we're gonna keep on playing. Let's see where we can go. Uh, as far as the mods go, which I want to show you, um, we'll go ahead and show you these. I don't think it's going to bring up what um, mods are available just because I'm playing the game currently. But this is what I'm using right now. Um, this is about 1.3 gigabytes of stuff here. Um, Falscar, which is like its big ass quest, I think it's like 30 hours. Um, which that's another thing if you want um, extra content there's a whole community of people that's creating stuff so I mean yeah definitely check these out um, this is the stuff I'm using the god tier weapons project hippie rich merchants which is pretty cool you can go to a merchant I think they have like 10,000 gold um, you can steal from them um, you know in a regular there's a Skyrim you probably get, you know, they might have 100 or 200 gold on them. So if you're a pickpocket guy or a thief, that actually works out to your advantage. Where do I go? But like I said, I, I put in ton, you know, tons of hours into this game. Um, you know, even on the PC version, I uninstalled the regular version just to see and installed this one. Uh, just to see what it's like. Um, I probably could have just kept both of them on my PC, but kind of running out of room. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go either. Oh no! Maybe it's over here. Maybe there's like a switch. Is there a switch? Come on, give me. Ah, yep, yeah, there's a switch. Let there be bridge. Now, but I'm going to take around later. I'm going to do some more videos with Skyrim Special Edition. I I like to start a series of just playing Skyrim. If, if I get an excuse to play Skyrim again, I am going to take it. So this is perfect for me. Um, I do apologize too as well. Uh, I have not put that much content out lately, just because you know I'm still 
going through some process, going through some things, and I'm trying to get as much content as possible. And my last video I did explain it will be slow starting out, and that's still true today. It will be a little bit, a little slower, um, just for a while. That's until we get our place, and you know, once we get. Okay, buddy. Hello. But anyways, that's that's one thing. My uh, friend John, he's actually wanting to start a couch co-op, uh, some couch co-op videos. So that's going to help out. I want to activate all the buttons. Oh no! That was really stupid. Really stupid. I'm not going to die, but that was really stupid. Really dumb. I think I should be running to the Centurion right now. Good leg, buddy. What? What? Hello? Let's see. Quit hitting me, you bastard! Oh, another cool thing too is you can change the actual physics of the game with some of the mods, um, especially with the shouts. There's the other thing. Okay, there's one. There's a gear. It's not doing its thing. Where are you, you giant bastard? There is. It might be over here. Is that it? Is that the one? Yeah, that's it. Remove the human spine. You're dead. So dead. Okay. This one is still not doing its job. What the fuck is going on here? Okay, I've checked it. Did I check this one? Did I double check it? Apparently not because there's a human skull in there. Okay, why isn't that one working? Why aren't you working? Okay. I don't see anything stuck in you. Oh, where? Oh, where is that gear? God. Hey, what do we got here? Hello? Oh, shit! Say it, I will die! Bastards. <laughs> it's not gonna die. I mean, they can... I can do pretty much all I want to them. I can fire at them and they won't die. I don't know what's going on here. Come on. Is it down here, maybe? Is there a gear down here? Yeah, it is. I knew I would figure it out. Oh, it's a Centurion. Hello. Did I kill it in one hit? I did! I fucking murdered it! Are you murdered? Are you murdered? Let's let me double check this and make sure. Oh ah, yeah, you're dead. You're you're dead. Maybe let me check your body. Nah, I'll take that. And that. And that's about it. Now I haven't seen all how like the console version. Yet I have not seen it uh, being played. Um, if if I had to guess, it's very similar to Fallout 4 um, and how their mod system worked. Because I know you can mod Fallout 4, which I never really mess with the mods. Um, I still haven't played too much Fallout 4. I don't know why. Usually by now I would have already beat that game to pieces, but I just have it. I don't know why. I need to put more time in it, but, you know. I will eventually. I'll put more time in the game eventually and finally beat it. Um, right now, I'm going through Gears of War 4, Battlefield 1, and Titanfall 2. Um, trying to beat those, the campaigns mainly. Uh, I did. Ha I have been playing the multiplayer for Battlefield 1, which is fantastic. Um, if you're a Battlefield fan of at all. 
this is totally different. Way different than what you've been used to the last few years because, you know, everybody's been playing these modern shooters. But this is back to form with the Battlefield series, and I hope, I hope they continue with this because, you know, World War One, World War Two games, that is my sauce. That is what I like the best. Um, but we'll be playing that. Uh, Halloween was yesterday, and it did not feel like it. Usually, I have Halloween videos, scary theme videos, which I didn't this year because, you know, stuff. But uh, next year, I will try my best to do a little bit better with that. I I'm gonna kill that rabbit. Come on, rabbit! I'm hungry. Fucking die! It's going above him. I have to. Mmm. I'm gonna kill this fucker. Got it! What did I get it? What just happened? I didn't even hit him! No, he's dead. What just happened? Huh. I have no clue what just happened. Like, I fired at him, he didn't. He wasn't dead, he was just frozen. Frozen and dying. Okay. Is there anybody in here that wants to die? I think this guy wants to die. Hello. So the verdict is, I'm going to tell you now, the verdict I'm having, I'm going to give you right now, if, and this is just my opinion, so don't attack me with fire. Um, so if you're a console gamer and you haven't played Skyrim, or want an excuse to go back and play Skyrim with it all prettied up and running a whole lot better, Skyrim Special Edition is worth the $60 purchase. If you're a PC gamer, on the other hand, go ahead and just buy the Legendary Edition. You can get it for $15 usually. Wait for a Steam sale, which we just had the Halloween sale. <coughs> and there's another one coming eventually. And pick it up. Now, I don't know how long the promotion is going to be with um, you. If you own that, you get the special edition for free. But I would go that route, honestly. It's a whole lot better, I think. And it will run better on the PC if you just have the legendary edition with mods. And you don't have to go through creating a Bethesda account. You don't have to go through that shit. And, yeah. But, you know, like I said, if you get it, if you get it for free, that's the best thing about it. It's, it is nice to play the game. Um, if you're not worried about uh, creating a Bethesda account, that's fine. But you can make the game look a whole lot better, you know, with the regular version of the game. I'm not saying that this is a bad port, but it's not necessarily the greatest. It's not what I expected when you say completely remastered. I was thinking... Uh, maybe they're going to put this on the Fallout 4 engine. Maybe, maybe not. Um, oh, it's a bear! It's a dead bear! Um, but yeah, I, I would go that route. I just buy the Legendary Edition. If you get this through for free, uh, go ahead and try it out. You may, like I said, I'm running on two 7870s. Um, and, you know, I'm only able to run this on Ultra. Um, around 30 to 40 frames per second. Uh, it hits 60 when you go into dungeons and stuff, which I don't understand that. But once you get into the open world, it drops down to 30 or 40. It barely dips below 30. Um, I have had that maybe, usually there's um, too much going on on the map. Uh, you might see some supple drops, but if you, if you have the newer cards like the 480 or the 1080, you're probably not going to have any problems with that. Um, glitches are abound on it. You know, with Bethesda games, there's plenty of glitches to be found. Um, so 
some of the stuff got ironed out, but there's also patches, unofficial patches you can download. Here's a weird thing. So, I don't know why. <laughs> what the fuck's up with this bird? <laughs> it's so painful to look at. Look at it. Oh my god. Is it a chicken? It's not a chocobo. You know, that's not a chocobo, but I can ride it. I can't ride him, but I can ride him. I can ride this chocobo. Or whatever. The Ne never mind, I guess I can't write it. I was in town a while ago and it let me write it. Uh, can I buy a horse? Here's my offer. That's your best offer? Yep. I suppose so. She's the one with the saddle. <laughs> Come on, that's there we go. Can I write it? Alright, I just gotta show you how silly this looks. <laughs> that's amazing. I don't know if he can climb mountains. Can he climb mountains? Nope, he can't. The oh, it won't stop moving. It just won't stop. It's it's so messed up, right? <laughs> oh, it's so bad. Okay, yeah, this is Skyrim Special Edition from PC. Uh, check it out. There's if, you know if you want more um, you know information about it, you can always check out other review sites, other gamers. As always, you know, if you pre-ordered the game, don't do that. It's not worth it. Um, it's, you know, always check out gameplay and stuff like that before you just jump right in. But as far as this goes, I like I said, it's it's good. It's fun. It's Skyrim, Skyrim, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, and I know you'll have a good time playing it. Let me see if I can. can I, oh, I can! I can totally shoot this mammoth. On the Chocobo. I didn't know I could do that. I don't remember being able to do that on the base game. Oh, I just murdered the mammoth. Right, let's try it again. Why are these arrows go? Okay. Okay, yeah. I'm done. I'm done. I'm actually done. This is the last bit of it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for checking us out. My name is Master6. Um, be sure to check out my uh, earlier videos. Um, but next time, there won't be as many ums. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, take it easy. I love you guys. And be sure to hit like and subscribe.